Good day everyone. My name is Mr. Chisum. Today we'll be looking at the tibia bone. So this bone here is the tibia. This is the tibia. And the tibia is the bone of the leg. So the tibia is defined as a long bone. The type of bone that it is is a long bone. So it is defined as a long bone that is found in the leg or you can say that it is defined as a long bone that is found between the knee joints and the ankle joints and the tibia is referred to as a weight bearing bone because the tibia bears all the weight in the body since it lies uh, inferiorly or distally it bears all the weight in the body and it can also be called the shin or the shank bone. So that is it for the tibia. So we'll be looking at the different parts of the tibia bone. We'll be looking at the different parts of the tibia bone. This part is referred to as the proximal part. This part is referred to as the shaft or the body. Why this part is referred to as the distal part of the tibia? The proximal part the shaft or the body and the distal part of the tibia. So in discussing or in talking about the tibia, we'll first of all start from the proximal part and we'll be looking at all the features that can be seen in the proximal part and also the features that can be seen in the body and also the distal part. So starting from the proximal part of the tibia. Now this part is so that you will not be confused this is the medial part of the tibia and this is the lateral this is the medial and this is the lateral so this rounded part here on the proximal end is known as the medial condyle of the tibia this is known as the medial condyle of the tibia why this is known as the lateral condyle of the tibia. The medial condyle and the lateral condyle of the tibia. Then, having seen the condyle of the tibia, on the lateral condyle, there is a protrusion here. There is this protrusion here. This is known as the Geddes tubercle. This protrusion here. Is known as the Geddes tubercle. It gave attachments or it gave insertion to the iliotibia tract. The iliotibia tract that came all the way from the thigh on the lateral aspect. This is where, on this Geddes tubercle, is where it inserts. Then, having seen that, this protrusion here, there is a protrusion here. This is known as the tibia tuberosity on the anterior part of the tibia. This is known as the tibia tuberosity. You can also look at the protrusion with this. You can see this protrusion here. It is known as the tibia tuberosity. Then having seen that, let's look at the fissures that can be found on top of the two condyles. So, this is the medial condyle, remember why this is the lateral condyle. This is the tibia tuberosity. This is the Geddes tubercle. Then looking at the medial condyle here, you see this two articular surfaces. These are known as the superior articular surface or the superior articular surfaces. You can see that there are two in number. Two superior articular surfaces and they articulate with the medial and the lateral condyle of the femur. So the medial and lateral condyle of the femur articulates on these two. Now these two articular surfaces have the one on the medial side. The one on the medial side is known as the medial articular facet. While the one on the lateral side is known as the lateral 
particular facets. Why the both of them are called the superior articular surfaces? Because they lie superiorly. Then, having seen that, let's also look at this fissure. There is a depression here. This depression here is known as the anterior intercondylar area. Why there is one on the posterior part? This one here is known as the posterior intercondylar area. So we have the anterior intercondylar area and the posterior intercondylar area. Then having seen these two intercondylar areas, there is this protrusion on both sides of this superior part of the tibia. They are called the intercondylar eminence. Together they are called the intercondylar eminence. But the one on the medial side is called the medial intercondylar tubercle. While the one on the lateral side is called the lateral intercondylar tubercle. So the both of them are referred to as the intercondylar eminence. Then having seen these fissures on the proximal part of the tibia, Let's go over to other fissures that can also be seen at the proximal part. Remember that this is the anterior part, so that you remember. This is the medial part and the lateral part. Then if you turn to the posterior part here, there is a protrusion here. It's not so visible here. But when you look at this bone, you see this protrusion here. This is known as the solio line. You can see it is a line that runs from lateral side to the medial side. It is referred to as the solio line. It is an oblique line. It gave attachment to the soleus muscle. Then there is also a, an articular facet here. There is a superior articular facet, or rather you call it an articular facet, that articulates with the head of the fibula. So this is where the head of the fibula articulates. So that is it for the proximal part of the tibia. Then let's go back to the body or the shaft of the tibia. This is the body or the shaft of the tibia. And in the body, we have the anterior border. You can see the anterior border here. And you can see the medial border. Remember that this is the medial part. So this sharp edge is the anterior border. Why this is the medial border? Here. Then, let's go back to the surfaces that can be found in the body. We have the medial surface here. This is the medial surface here. And here is the lateral surface. The medial surface and the lateral surface. Then we also have the posterior surface. So we have the anterior border, the medial border, the medial surface, the lateral surface, and the posterior surface. Then there is a there is a protrusion here towards the lateral surface. It is the interosseous border of the tibia, and it is facing the interosseous border of the fibula, and the interosseous membrane lines it. So this is the interosseous border. So let's go over to the distal part of the tibia. This is known as the medial malleolus of the tibia. So you can see it. This is the medial malleolus of the tibia. Then here we have the groove for the tibialis posterior muscle. Then here we have the fibular notch. We have the fibular notch. This is where the fibula 
articulate with the tibia on the distal part. Then having seen that, we also have this surface here, which is known as the inferior articular surface. You remember we saw the superior articular surface when we did the proximal part of the tibia. So now this is the inferior articular surface. And here is the articular facet for the malleolus or the malleolar articular facet. So let me repeat what I've said so far. I told us that the tibia is divided into three parts. The proximal part, the body, and the distal part. In the proximal part, I showed us the media condyle, the lateral condyle, the tibia tuberosity. Then I showed us the Geddes tubercle here. Then we have the two superior articular surfaces. Then this is the media articular facet. Why this is the lateral articular facet? The anterior intercondylar area and the posterior intercondylar area. These are the intercondylar eminence. The medial one and the lateral intercondylar eminence. Then coming to the posterior aspect, I showed us the solio line that give attachment to the solius muscle. Then coming to the body, I told us that this is the anterior border and the medial border. Then this is the interlocious border. These are the three borders. Then this is the medial surface, the lateral surface, and the posterior surface. Then these are the three surfaces. Then coming to the distal part, I told us that this is the medial malleolus. Here is the inferior articular surface. Here is the articular facet for the fibula. Then we have a depression here, which is known as the fossa of the media malleolus. And we also have the articular facet of the medial malleolus. So we've come to the end of this teaching. I'll encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Learn with Chisum Great. Follow me on Facebook and TikTok. Learn with Chisum Great. Like this video, share this video with your friends, and comment on this video. Thank you very much.